got something uh, I think you might be interested in. A poster, right? Yeah, you know, it's something a little bit better and different than that. This is the original blueprint of the electric chair from the Joliet State Prison in Stateville. Okay, that's definitely more interesting than a poster. This was a brand new thing for the state of Illinois, so it, sometimes they had inmates help them do it, or they had their staff build that chair. I would like 5,000. That's not possible, maybe 1,800. So where in the world did you get this? Well, back in the 1970s, I worked at the county jail for a few years. One of the old timers there who was retiring took a liking to me as a rookie and gave me this. The Joliet State Prison was part of Cook County back then in 1925 when they opened up. OK, so there were some Chicago mob guys in there, right? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Over the past you know, 120 years, the electric chair is probably one of the more interesting things to be invented. You know, most places have switched out the electric chair for the gas chamber or uh, lethal injections. People seem to think it's a little bit more humane, but how would you know unless you ever put in one? Is this electric chair still at the prison? It still exists, except it's all bricked up. August 24th, 1962 was the last time in the state of Illinois that they executed anybody. And they bricked it up, hoping that maybe the state would change their mind and have it come back. Yeah, I, it's been a controversial issue, whether you know, the state has the right to actually kill somebody. I mean, there's people out there that will say, if murder's illegal, the state can't murder you, no matter how bad of a guy you are. And then there's plenty of people out there that believe, you know, there's just some people that are such they deserve to die. I'm sure collectors would be all over these blueprints. If this is an original and not something that was mass printed, it might be pretty special. How much do you want for it? I'm looking at five. Five hundred? Five thousand. Five thousand. Whoa. OK. Um, do you mind if I give a buddy of mine a call? Who would that be? Uh, it's my buddy Mark, Clark County Museum guy. He's a pretty much knows everything there is to know about everything. Sure. All right. I have no problem with them calling in another person to look at them. He's going to see that they are real, and they are the originals. So what do you know about electric chairs? I wouldn't sit in one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read the blueprints to one? Yes. Oh, it's Stateville. OK. There are only three electric chairs in the entire state. One of them was at Stateville, which is the, the state penitentiary. Joseph Reagan, he was the warden at that point. He didn't like to do executions. He didn't believe in executions. So he always appointed one of his staff, a deputy, to actually turn on the juice, as it were. The electric chair does still exist today. There are a few states that still have it as a primary means of execution. There are a number of states where it is available if the criminal being executed asks for it. But in most cases throughout the United States, most states have gotten rid of it. One of the things I think is kind of interesting about these, they tried to make them at least a little bit comfortable. You had actually different ways of restraining you. You have a padded seat that can be removed. The back here can be moved so that it, you can lean back more or less. There was an odd nod to comfort on that when it was going to be utilized. How common are these things? You can find blueprints in books and histories of executions in the United States, things like that. They've been reproduced. But to find a first generation print, that's unusual. I can say that looking at this, the paper is right, the age is right. This is real. This would be a first generation blueprint for the electric chair. OK. Oh, thanks, Mark. Not Push a problem. Sure. Okay. See you later. And thank, thank you, sir. You wouldn't think that there would be a collector's market for devices like the electric chair, but there are. It's kind of nice to see a single design that's original to the time period. So how much were you looking to get out of it? I would like to get about $5,000 for it. Um, that's a little much. If it said Edison anywhere on here, you'd be looking at $5,000 all day long. The fact that it doesn't it makes it worth a little bit less. So I'd like to offer you around 800 bucks for it. Nah. Are you willing to come down at all? Um, I'm willing to come down to about 22. Realistically, after I spent some money on it, I could probably get three. 
Could you go a thousand? Sixteen. Fifteen hundred. Get a deal. All right. Show me to write them up. Sure. Grab the plans and I'll meet you at the front. His offer for eight hundred dollars was just out of the question. It just didn't seem reasonable, especially when they're authentic. It's less than I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing, and I'm happy with that.